points there. Both vice presidential candidates took liberties with the truth, a lot of them on a lot of subjects. So let's get started. The success of the surge in Iraq is something Senator McCain is proud of. And since Senator Obama was against it, Governor Palin said this. Barack Obama still can't admit that the surge works. But that's false. Obama still wants our troops out of Iraq. However, he now says the surge succeeded beyond our wildest dreams. Obama has been criticized for his views on foreign policy, so Biden went after McCain on that same front. John McCain said as recently as a couple weeks ago he wouldn't even sit down with the government of Spain. Problem is, that's false. America has had strained relations with its old NATO ally, Spain, but when McCain was interviewed about it recently, he did not commit one way or the other to future talks. On the economy, Biden says this is McCain's plan for health care reform. Deregulate it and let the free market move like he did for the banking industry. That's misleading. McCain wants some deregulation, but nothing like the extensive lack of oversight being blamed for many banking problems. On taxes, Palin says Biden said this. Higher taxes or asking for higher taxes or paying higher taxes is patriotic. That's misleading too. Biden says people making more than a quarter million dollars a year should pay more to help out middle class Americans. And helping the American economy recover is what he calls patriotic. There are plenty of other examples. Palin said Obama voted 94 times to increase taxes or not reduce them. That's misleading. More than half those votes came in budget resolutions which on their own could not raise taxes. Governor Palin is also getting a bit of a stick in the eye from some of the Democrats up in Alaska today who say that when she brought up the issue of Darfur late in the show, uh, it, was, it was mentioned by Joe Biden, and then she said, well, our state has divested it or is in the process of divesting itself of our holdings with Sudan so that we won't help what's being done to the people of Darfur out there. She was, uh, some Democrats up there say she really wasn't for that to begin with. She only changed that position later on, but nonetheless, they're sorting that out. The list of half-truths, outright fibs, and misleading statements from both sides in this debate goes on and on, really, and no doubt that's exactly what it's going to keep doing right up until the election. Campbell? Tom Foreman for us tonight. Good work, Tom. Thanks. Appreciate it.